It's time for a look at what's making America's mouth water in Let's Eat. To prove how much Americans love bacon, Oscar Mayer had comic Josh Sankey travel from New York to LA with no money, just bacon as currency. That's for the cab ride. Okay. Over 14 days, Sankey traded bacon for food, places to sleep, gas, and Olympic legend Scott Hamilton's autograph. Along the way, he offered a guy 137 pounds of bacon if he'd get a bacon tattoo, and the guy did it. If that wasn't enough pig meat, let's talk pigskin and this week's top tailgate recipe. We've got a taste bud tickling cankle maker that says in no uncertain terms that you have no respect for your colon. Here's a recipe from, of all places, a New York Times blogger. It's a five pound log of bologna, put in a smoker for three hours, and optional, topped with canned cheese. What every life insurance agent wants to hear. A way to combine smoking, fat, and a list of ingredients as long as the roster of a Big Ten football team. Whether you like your meat rare, medium, or well done, there's one thing everyone hates, ice cream with freezer burn. Here's some solid advice I found on the website chow.com. To avoid it from happening, cut the empty part of the container with scissors each time ice cream is scooped out. Then just put the lid back on and put it back in the freezer. A second solution is to simply use wax paper or plastic wrap to cover the ice cream surface. Of course, this only works if you don't just wipe out the whole carton. I usually feel so full of regret after realizing I ate half a carton of ice cream that I shame eat the rest of it. And that's it for Let's Eat. Let's Eat.